Hello y'all, this is Brushfire Windragon and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. I'm pretty sure this is where I left off. Somehow I have three save files instead of one now. Um, I did get my first dose of the Moderna vaccine today, which I'm very happy about. I hope you all are staying safe. Oh yeah, that's the wrong button. I don't want to ruin the picture. Uh, I don't want to ruin the picture. I'm not trying to, Rosa. So who are these girls with Joanne? She doesn't look so uh, depressed. No, I can't find any information about Joanne. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Nope, no information about Adrian. No, no information about Kelly. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel up to it. But today, it's just not happening. I wish I could go to bed, but I have work to do. Come in! I'm going in blind. Hello, Rosa. <laughs> come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Oh, hey, Moti. Here, boy. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right, Moti. See ya. So, um, how are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? It only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I suppose that's irony. I suppose so. So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's I taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. He's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. <laughs> Feel free to give him one if you like. <laughs> He's a little you dog, have a very right. nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo, exactly. It's just... Oh, I know. Just one of those unspoken things. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. 
Yo, this is so different in the era of Cool Voldemort. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high-pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea. But I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. I didn't exactly. sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Because they went by and her head hurt. So, I guess we gotta check out the dog. Could now. I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Okay. I, I want to feed the dog. Let me feed Come here, the... boy. Here we go. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. Oh, good See boy. Ya. <laughs> All right, but this is the last one. <laughs> go get it. Oh, he's following me. Something tells me that the... Whoa! I, Hold I, on there. I, I didn't mean... I didn't mean to... You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. Thanks. Uh-huh. Whoa! Hold on there. You want? Thanks. Uh huh. Thanks. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Thanks. Uh huh. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. I'm wanting your opinion, I'm not wanting you to steal stuff. <laughs> I don't think so. It's the security guard for the hospital. Oh. Some kind of motivational poster. Oh. Some small keys. One of them is labeled FB. I assume that means fuse box. Thanks. Uh huh. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. Okay, if I'm not meant to be here, what am I supposed to do? I don't have anyone to call. Looks like an internal phone for paging doctors or patients like. What is happening? It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like... like... The picture's flickering again. Look. What is that? Look at it. The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. I don't think you're going crazy, Auntie's but you Auntie's death, work, something. life... I just need a rest. That's all. Ooh. Is that a breeze from the window, or is there something? 
something there. Hello, bright eyes. Oh, hello, Joey. That's not usually what happens when you're around women, Joey. Why do they always do that? See? <laughs> That's what's asking. <laughs> Hello, Joey. I got an achievement. So, Griff. Long time no see. Those tricks. Right, thought as much. Blackwell dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mmm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... It looks like it froze. You can't be real. You're just a stress-induced hallucination. Yeah, sure. Think about your aunt and grandmother and say that again. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. <gasps> what? The grin. Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. He had the Passed down from one generation to the next. Like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. So you're a ghost. Yep. You're a ghost. There's a ghost in my apartment. Hey, you're sharp. Took your aunt and grandmother ages to work that out. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me. Why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach, I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? The hospital. Hell, I hope not. I don't want to go back there in a hurry. Think harder. You mean the dog run? Yeah, that's where we've got to go. What, right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. This is all too much. I've got to sleep on this. Sorry, kiddo. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did.
but do you really want to sit around here and find out? Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. Fine. Let's go. That's the spirit. Really? Really, After Joey? After you. <laughs> that was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep, and hear me. So keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait. I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. That's not what I thought he was going to say. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. So hard to hold on. It's me. It's me, they won't stop. Who won't stop, kid? Try and concentrate. Explain everything so we can help you. Help? Help. He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. Don't they run away? We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're, he's dead. You're him! He's the only one who won't go away! Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave! Alright. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands, haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. What an odd dream. Not a dream, honey. Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? Have you been here all night? Where else am I gonna go? I can't leave your side. Doesn't matter if you're asleep or not. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? 
She's the only family I had. I want to know about her. We all want lots of things. Doesn't mean we get them. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. There's more? Oh, yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch. Is Ascot? Unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place forcing its way into your mind. There's a hole in my head. Sort of. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm yeah. stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. <laughs> Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'll I'm bet. fine. <laughs> so what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. 
Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. That's convenient. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. Come in! Look, Moti, our neighbors come to visit us again. Come in! Are you alright, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right. You said yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Could I feed Modi another treat? Sure. Here, take another. I have plenty. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. Go get it. Um, nom, nom. There's nothing to be afraid of, I hope. See ya. You know I spoil you. Go get it! Joe, shh! You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. I think Nashanti would be quite alright with this whole thing. But that's just my opinion. So, dogs can see you, huh? Dogs, cats, birds, any dumb animal. So what does that make me? I don't know. A gerbil? You kind of look like a gerbil. Shut up. Oh wow, they're siblings already. Well, um, we did learn quite a bit today, so I think that will be all. And, uh, thank you all for watching, and stay safe out there. This is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.